to another in my series of videos on how to play John Prine songs. John's song, Long Monday, first appeared on his Fair and Square CD in 2005. The solo I'm presenting in this video appears in a 2016 live performance from Merlefest. You can find that video on YouTube, and that way you can see him play it live and see how his fingers are moving. Both on the CD and in the live performance, he's capoed at the third fret. He plays out of a G shape, which puts him in the key of B flat. So we'll be thinking as if we're performing the song in the key of G, just that we have a capo on. And here is the structure of the song. You can see that there's three distinct parts to it. The introduction, this is where he plays his solo against these chords. Then he plays a verse, and the first time through on the first ending, he just stays on G. On the second time through, he plays a D chord instead, and that leads him into the chorus. The solo that John Prime plays as an introduction is slightly based on the chorus, although it has its own set of chords, just slightly different. So the CD came out in 2005, and I'm transcribing a solo from 2016, and surprisingly, it's almost note for note exactly the same. So let's dig into it. So the opening chord is a G, and he is holding it like this. He doesn't have to hold the whole G chord. So then he starts with a pinch. Then he lifts his pinky to reveal the open second string and does the same right hand pattern. You'll want to think of these two measures of C as a complete idea. There's two different patterns in each of the measures. First there's a pinch, and we're talking a C chord, but notice the slash G, that means you hold on to your G bass note. Pinch as he puts down these two fingers. So the timing there is one, two, and three, four, and... Now John Prine just uses his index finger, so he would play that. I'm in the habit of using two fingers as I do my picking. So that was the first measure of C, and it's followed up with this. So you then want to hear those two measures together. The second four measures of the solo are exactly like the first four measures. So then you drop down to the equivalent of the third line, and even the first two measures of G there are played the same as the first two measures of the opening of the song. It then goes to a D chord, but specifically with an F sharp bass that he's grabbing with his thumb on the second fret of the sixth string. And at the same time, he has the second fret of the third string. He does that as a pinch. So the timing is one, two, and three, four. The second measure of D begins with a hammer on on the second string, which really creates a D7 there. And you have each of these notes kicking in on the offbeat there. One and two and three and four and. That open string then leads you into the C chord. The right hand pattern for the C chord, and this time you are playing a C chord, not with a G bass. Alternate the bass, there's where the G comes in. So the index just keeps playing that third string. One, two, and three, and four, and does that twice. Then it goes back to G and essentially plays the same thing, but the timing's different. It's one, two, three, and four, and. singing starts, and as he's singing, he's really using that pattern.
So we'll now put the entire solo together for you up to speed. We'll have a scrolling tab going across the screen as I play it. So dig in and have fun.